All right, guys, we're sitting here at the Beehive, 71st Detroit Autorama, and I'm with my buddy Danny here, who's the owner of this awesome Hemi Super B over here. We've been wanting to do, well, I've been wanting to do an interview with you for quite a while, you yeah. know what I mean? So right. we finally get that chance. So let's just make this happen, right? So this is the car right here, right, Danny? Yes, sir. And uh, give me a little bit of a rundown. What is it, right? This is a 1970 Dodge Hemi Super B. One of four post cars built in 70 with a four speed 410 Dana Super Track Pack, wow. manual brakes, manual steering, um, radio delete, uh, just a car that was ordered to go fast, no frills, nothing extra, steel wheels from the factory. Right. Uh, back in the 70s, uh, if you see this picture here. And bench seat, too. Yeah, bench, bench seat. seat. Yep. Okay. Uh, it was known as Ghost Rider in the 70s. Uh, a motorcycle club out there in Chicago owned it. They used to keep it in their yard. They used to have a bunch of pit bulls that would hang around in the yard. Anybody came near the car, they'd probably get bit or shot or God knows. <laughs> right. <laughs> rough, rough and tough gang. Wow. But it, um, but it definitely was, you know, uh, something pretty cool. Pretty cool backstory on it. Um, Dana 6410 gear, right? That's just yep. the track pack, right? Yep, super track pack. And um, it's it's a riot to drive. It it's it's not for the faint at heart, and it's not for somebody who doesn't like driving a car with uh, no power steering, no power brakes. When you get on it, you really got to hold on. But it's a blast to drive. Yeah, it really gets with the program cool, quick. Yeah. And I noticed, you know, it's got the correct stuff, right? So the the Ram Charger box yes. has the boot on the side. Yes. Um, I know I've seen other people that have like 383 cars, but they got the boot too. Yep. So maybe they got that from somewhere else, or uh, whatever. Yeah. But, yeah. Maybe. Uh, but yeah, yeah it, it how huh. you see the car, how it sits today, it was rotisserie restored okay. back in 2004. This paint is 20 years old on it, and it okay. still shows very, very well. Sure. Um, Love the red C stripe. Yeah. Right? I mean, everybody loves that. Yep, I know I got the tail stripe it. on mine, but yep. it, it's just a great car. You mind if I open the door? Sure. No, no yeah. problem. Go ahead. Still want to run into the. So that's good. So yeah, here's the interior here, four speed, man, beautifully done. Great, great car. Post car, I mean, that's really what, that's probably what, well, besides the Hemi, right? Right, But right. the Post really makes it rare, right? Mm -hmm. I think in 70, and don't quote me because, you know, I my numbers aren't 100%. Yeah. Well, you don't want to make the purists all yeah, angry. We don't want know? anyone to get mad about it. Galen, <laughs> Dave Weiss, everybody. Yeah, yeah. I think they made 32 Hemi cars and 70 uh, Super Bs out of them, or four of them were post cars for the United States. There were two post cars for Canada. Don't know if, they, you know if that's in the mix. Don't know where they are. But I know that this is probably the only one left. I have yet to see another one. I wish somebody would chime in and show me another one. Sure. If there is one, right. that'd be cool to, to know at least. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, I mean, just like Autorama, right? You have a bunch of cars that just resurfaced. Yep. You never know. It, Could you're be right. 10 years from now, right? You're right. Hey, here's another one, right? Yeah. And that would be really, really cool. Yeah. So let's take a little bit of a walk uh, around the car here. So go ahead, I'll follow you. Yeah. Always got to watch out for the ropes, right? I already got snagged once. <laughs> Got to yeah. re remove the positive for the show to make sure we don't have any uh, any issues here. Yeah, you leave the positive issues, here. Man, the Hemi, right? Yeah. Just the iconic. Wow. It's a beast. Yeah, you know what, man? I super cool. So we're part of Twisted Axle, and our main emphasis is driving our cars. So it's really cool that. You know, you got a rare piece here, but you're living life, man. You're driving it, you're getting on it, you're exercising it. That's you, all. You've right? got to. I mean, you're you've not, you're not to. ragging on it, but no, you're no. doing what it was meant to do. I'm having fun with it, and uh, I plan to drive it till I can't drive anymore. Hopefully, that's not for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, let's let's go a little bit further here, man. Wow. So yeah, N96, right? Yep. So air grabber. Uh, or I guess that'd be just fresh air, right? Or yep. would that be air grabber? I uh, guess it is air grabber. Yeah, it's air grabber. Yeah. Man. Fresh air, either yeah. or. N96, I just always remember it as the, the right. code, right? Right. Man. Look at that. Great stuff, man. Wow. He's doing you next. It's a beautiful car. And very nicely restored. I mean, do you, is, 
Was there much metal work? Do you know, was, was there much that needed to be done to get it back? This car was, this? was all original metal. It was blasted down to bare metal. Okay. There was very little work on this car that needed to be done. Um, I have a whole CD of photos Man, really back nice. in 2003 when it was stripped. And uh, it's held up very well over the years. Sure has, man. Wow. And let me tell you, this week has been a blast, dude. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're having a good time. Yep. And uh, the Beehive, man, it really is uh, something special. And a lot of people are stopping by, and we're getting a lot of good feedback and yep. stuff. And uh, your car's a hit. I mean, they're all a hit, right? It's Thanks, really, man. really great. Thank you. And uh, I really appreciate you telling us about the car and stuff. And it's really good that, you know, I've seen this picture a bunch of times on the internet and now we really get to see this is the car yep this is the car man and uh if i remember correctly the deck lid had holes in it yep the, the and, finish and can, panel and had you bullet can holes. actually and and the deck lid had you can actually hood see pins. the hood pins on and i never noticed it before yep. but that is still the deck lid right they just yes. had to get re they, they had to weld up the holes yeah wow mm -hmm. that's crazy well there you have it, boys and girls, the Ghost Rider. And you finally get to see the, gar the car. And I appreciate you telling us about it, man. Thanks, Mike. Thanks All for right. having me on. All right, thank see you. See you guys. See you. Bye. Bye.